Hello, everybody. Good to be with you. Um, the sun's going down and it's going to screw with my light, so I need to get this pony on the road right now. <laughs> so buckle up. Right? <laughs> so what I want to talk to you today is pretty serious because um, I, I hopefully it's not going to be too damn serious, but it's pretty serious. And what it's about is that what you're looking at is just not what you're looking at. It isn't. There's a tree outside my window. There, when I see that tree, in another life, I would have probably told you that's my tree. It's on my property line. Says who? That's who? This is an empty carcass here. It is an empty carcass. It's the only thing that's over any good over here is the animated presence. So I certainly can't say that's my tree and you can't say it's yours. Betsy takes care of it, but I, if, I don't think she would say that it was her tree any more than we would say that we are the owners of, proud owners of two dogs. We're not that proud of them to begin with. And we don't own them. We are their servants, they are not ours. And we recognize this and we're completely surrendered to it. Willie runs the house, everything goes smooth. So what are we talking about? <laughs> I think we were talking about that what you're looking at is not what you're looking at and that's absolutely true. Because when the typical person looks at a tree, they don't look at a tree. That number one, if it's in there, if, it's, if there's any, uh, grounds whatsoever, they'll be looking at their tree. Because <laughs> that's what we want to do with our world, isn't it? We're just trying to make it ours one stick at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't wait till I've got this whole thing because then I'll be complete. And that's a lie. There's no, there's no completing these units. There's no satisfying the itch that these units have to be more, to have enough. There's not enough for one of these units. There really isn't. They're very picky. <laughs> you know? I mean, this one won't wear just any clothes, right? It does its hair in a certain way and hopes it's appealing because it wants to be appealing above and beyond all else. <laughs> and, it, uh, you know, it, these glasses are the glasses that I wear, and you should see all the ones that I don't wear. Wow, they're not really don't hold candled this pair. So when I take these handles off, the, excuse me, the, I grab this, these glasses by the handles and pull them off, we'll get this straight sooner or later. Then what I'm looking at here is um, just looking at, now this is within relativity. I should have said that up front, but let me say it now, since I didn't say it up front, is that within relativity, what I'm looking at is glasses. Now, because this unit wears them, it thinks these are my glasses. They're, but what is it the unit can't think? The unit, I mean, the, 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 the brain processes information uh, wonderfully, but it's debatable as to whether it um, likes or dislikes anything or judges or doesn't judge anything. Well, it does, it's, but, but it can't judge any differently than what it than the way it judges. We'll we'll talk about that another time. Right now, what we're talking, what are we talking about right now? Like God Almighty, I can't remember. For, oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we're talking about that. What you're looking at is just not what you're looking at, because what you're looking at is your projection. It's your projection, like. For an average person, they take these glasses off. For, for, for over 50 years, if these glasses had come off, then this unit would have said, these are my glasses. I still might say, these are my glasses. But part of clearing is learning to use dualistic language without believing it. That's right. You can't not use dualistic language if you're going to communicate. Now, if you want to go be a hermit and get up in a cave, now you don't have to say a word to anybody. And that's okay. But I noticed that this unit loves to talk. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I only love to talk here or satsang. 
I don't love to talk otherwise than that. You know, Betsy complains sometimes that I don't talk to her enough, right? I'm just, mm, and I'm sure that I don't. But what is enough? She doesn't know, neither do I. So we use these words, but neither one of us, she doesn't believe what she's saying. I don't believe what she's saying. <laughs> She knows better than to believe what I'm saying, because what I'm telling you is something true-ish. I'm telling you something that is very truth-like. We might call it truthy, <laughs> but we sure as hell can't call it the truth, because this unit can't utter the truth, and neither can any other unit anywhere that I'm aware of. Who knows? Great beyond. I live in a great unknowing, so I don't want to make any conclusive statements. If I do make a conclusive statement, please understand that I'll be using uh, that, that 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 I'll be using language, but I'm not believing it. So don't you believe it either? You know, if I say now, here's how it works. What what I mean is this is one way that something appears to work, but I can't tell you that's the way. Like I can tell you, this teaching works for some people. I just noticed it doesn't work for everybody. And, But the good news is that there's no story over here that it should work for everybody. But if you do feel like it works for you, give it a try because the, for the ones that this is for, there ain't gonna be nothing like it. There's not gonna be anything like it because I'm not doing what anybody else is doing. It seems like I am another non-dual teacher on YouTube. I don't think so. <laughs> Way back, uh, gee, in 20, 2016, yeah, 2016, not 2016, 2006. Well, it wasn't 2006. It was a few years ago after that. It must, it must have been 2010. Yeah, okay. So that's still 12 years ago. God almighty, would you just talk to us, Fred? <laughs> I can't do anything with it. I bet you can't either. So way back when I woke up, a guy that had come to my house to be woken up, he had just come back from Sailor Bob's in Australia, and I love Sailor Bob, and he's got it in spades. Don't think he doesn't. Um, he was very helpful with me, and I, you know, he's an august figure in my head. I know it's an empty unit, but I just can't feel that way. I just can't bring myself to feel that way. It's not Sailor Bob. That's a, that's Nizagadatta. He, I mean, he was taught directly by Nizagadatta. Ooh, and his teaching is really simple. I bet Nizagadatta was too. The more I read it, the more I see that the that the basics are simple, and it ain't nothing but basics right? That could be arguable, I agree, but um, the, the basics is what we're going to talk about here, I think, if we ever get to talking about it. So, God, I, you know, I was going to cut a short video, and I can't even get through with the damn introduction. <laughs> you see what it's like? You see what it's like to be hung with this thing? It just won't do what you tell it. It won't, you can't tell it what to do. You can tell it what to do, but it will not do it. So it's fruitless. So my point being, of course, that what you're looking at is not what you're looking at, meaning that you are projecting everything. You're layering everything. I mean, I'm surprised that the, that the, that the, that the creatures can even breathe. You've got so many layers on top of them. Like, there's a fox. I really like foxes, but I've heard that foxes have, um, you know, rabies, that they carry rabies, but they sure are pretty, and their little kids are just darling, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I've seen an Arctic fox. It's white. This is a red one, and I've, I hear, I've heard there are brown ones. Did you know that? I wonder if there are any black, black foxes. Isn't that right? Here. <laughs> This little man in my head, isn't he, isn't he cute? And he just comes up here and he just runs my ass all around. <laughs> Would you like to borrow one, borrow one or do you have one of your own? I'm going to bet you have one of your own. Comes right up here and whispers nonsense. 
And what do we do with that nonsense? We believe it. We believe that that is my, could be believed that that is my tree. It's not, it's a tree. Um, I like to call it a, um, what kind of, a crepe myrtle. I like to call it a crepe myrtle. Betsy likes to call it a crepe myrtle. It's not a crepe myrtle other than the agreement. And we're in wide, we're, there's a wide agreement, a broad agreement that that is a crepe myrtle. But it's a tree with certain characteristics. That's it. It's a stick in the ground that has grown limbs and, and stuff and beautiful bark that peels every year, but it's still beautiful. It's supposed to peel. I mean, it looks kind of like a birch tree. The bark and everything does. And we got a whole bunch of them around here, front and back. It's really beautiful here. And I swear to God it is. This is, I mean, mm, this is really scrumptious. Betsy has done a wonderful job. I know you're just fascinated by that. <laughs> So see, now I got off into it. Do you see? I was, I was trying to make fun of it, and then I did it. Oh, we've got trees like that all over here. Now Betsy loves it. Bah, 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 bah. I'm off the tree. It's, it's just a tree. It's, it's not even a tree that's significant because I'm not paying attention to it. When I pay attention to it, it is something. When I say that it's your projections, I'm talking to awakeness over there. I'm not talking to Bob or Carol or Ted or Alice. I'm talking to awakeness. And awakeness, it's your projections. How do we know? Well, How many onenesses can I count right now? I count one. I just count one oneness. So do I count oneness plus a Fred? Nope. See, oneness, I used to think oneness started right outside this body. But oneness doesn't have an outside. That's just nonsense. Oneness means unbound unborn, untouched. Imagine right now that, it, that this space that's surrounding us, that seems to be surrounding us. See, there's me over here and then there's all this space around me. It's amazing, but I'm the center of the universe right here. I'm the center of this world because you can see the space has the center and it's right here. And I can see it, and I can't believe that you can't, and that's the reason we're going to war. But what if this, what if we really were this space? What if this space is, just excuse the expression, but what if this space is the body of God? What if? Where's your Fred then? There's only a Fred when, uh, when, when, when compared to Bob over here or Buddha over here. Now, the, now I've got comparisons and that's Fred in the middle. But there, there's no Fred in the middle because there's no middle anywhere of any kind. There's no separation. There's just this, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. You may think you do, but I can guarantee you don't know what it is. <laughs> I can guarantee you that because we are the same thing. And what's looking through this body and talking to that body is the same thing that's looking through that that is looking through that body and saying, "Man, that guy is crazy. When's he gonna shut up?" <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up pretty quickly here because I have no idea how long I've rambled. But it has been fun. I don't know if it's been productive or not. But just remember, the truth is that what you're looking at is not what you're looking at. What you're looking at is what you've projected. So one more thing. So you're looking at a projected world. And where are you looking at that world from? From this little center over here. 
if this center is not real, you really are the space. Where's the center to space? There's no center to space. So when I, I, there's no center to space, if I can look at things from the beyond God view, whatever that is, I know it is. I just don't know what it is. Don't care. <laughs> I'm fine. That's all I care about. I'm fine. This experience is fine. But if you can look at things from that very far view, I can't find a damn thing wrong, and I don't think you can either. So try looking not for as this unit, but try looking through this unit, right? Look through the eyes that you're already looking through, but don't think that you're a Fred. Understand that, or a Bob, it's God's looking through these eyes, and he's looking through these. It doesn't, he doesn't even need working eyes. I love you. Thanks for bearing with me. Bye for now.